The catacombs of St. Calixtus are the final resting place to over 50 martyrs and 16 pontiffs. In the early days of Christianity, these passageways formed one of the most important cemeteries in Rome. Generations of Christians were buried here, including St. Cecilia, the patron saint of music. It is said that these walls also house the young Tarcisio, a teenager who was killed while carrying the Eucharist. The greatest attraction, however, is the crypt. As many as nine popes were buried here, giving it the name the Little Vatican. You can see the inscription on the tombstones of the popes written in a simple way, in Greek, because in the third century, Greek was the most spoken language of the Christian community. Many came from the East, where Greek was the most common language. There were merchants, slaves, and freed slaves. The catacombs of St. Calixtus were discovered in the 19th century by Giovanni Battista di Rossi. He convinced Pope Pius IX to buy the land over top them, allowing archaeologists to closely study the catacombs and uncover their greatest treasure, the crypt of the popes. Giovanni Battista di Rossi is important. Giovanni Battista di Rossi is important for Christian archaeology, so much so that he was called the prince, the father of Christian archaeology. That was because he implemented a scientific method of work, something that differentiated him from the archaeologists who discovered catacombs in the 16th and 17th centuries. Of the popes buried in the catacombs, some were martyred. One of them was Sixtus II, who was arrested and executed under the persecution of the Roman Emperor Valerian. Good news from Rome Reports. This month, we reached 300,000 subscribers on our English YouTube channel. Thank you so much. If you are still not subscribed, you can do so by hitting the red button below.